Everybody wants authenticity, but people aren't so keen on vulnerability. And that's a problem because vulnerability is the secret source that makes authenticity so tantalising. Authenticity also comes at a cost. Showing up as your full fat self. What if you're not good enough? What if someone else thinks that you're someone else could do it better than you? There's always that problem of comparing ourselves to others. And comparison is great until the point where it isn't. To the point where comparisonitis has got you in a chokehold because you're so afraid to make a decision because of what others might think that you kind of stall. That's why I have Dave. Dave is my comparison cactus and I pop him on my desk to remind myself that whenever I get into a comparison battle with someone who's not even there with their front stage and my backstage, I'm basically trying to win a yoga race. There's no point to it. What I do instead is show up as my full fat self. I'm a brilliant speaker. I can take people from laughter and tears and back to laughter in the space of two sentences. I'm consistent. I'm able to get people galvanised into taking action, not just inspire them, but to say, because of what I've heard, this is what I'm going to do. More of this, less of this. I own that. Are there people who could do what I'm doing better? Yeah, probably. Worse? Absolutely. <laughs> but I'm in a race with me. I just want to be better than I was yesterday, not better than anyone else. And in doing so, I end up the best. So no more comparison. It is killing you. Only healthy competition, not comparisonitis. And no more sitting on a comparison cactus. That's just silly.